Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back in Star Stable. So today is the Midsummer stuff. I am going to go and do the Midsummer stuff, but that's not what this video is about because um, I read this at the very, very bottom of the news and it said, coming next week, let's get hyped for writing clubs. And I am really, really excited and I kind of want to know what it is going to be already. Um, don't know what it's going to be at all, but it's got to be something to do with writing clubs. Whether it'll be quests to do with like NPC writing clubs or our own writing clubs, don't have a clue. But I'm excited nonetheless. This landscape area did change the other week, which I noticed last week. And I had a nosy around this little bit here. Don't know if this will have anything to do with it or not. But considering clubs haven't changed in, like pretty much forever, I'm excited about this because. There are a lot of things that I have wanted to see updated within writing clubs in the game for players for a long, long time. So I kind of just think we'll discuss maybe some possibilities. What possibly could we be getting? And uh, we'll go over to the, the Midsummer festivities and, and do those while we talk about this. Okay, it turns out I have literally done everything for Midsummer already. Um, I guess what I did in previous years has been saved. I don't remember. I feel like I always build it every year, but it's already all up and I have nothing to do in my quest log. So we'll forget about that and we'll just go for a dander and uh, discuss what we can be getting riding clubs. I mean, like one of the first things, I guess, like if we look at riding clubs as a whole, right? Okay. The information stuff, right? There's so many things that I kind of have wanted with this, just for an example. Like, the one thing that I've always found very hard about Club Odin is you don't really know when people were last on. Um, and I don't know if this is something that could be adjusted or changed, but like if somebody hasn't logged in in like a century, I think it would be very useful for club owners to know. You know, that's something that I feel like would be a useful update for a lot of club owners. You know? The club info can be kind of, I'd guess, limiting at times because you often get a lot of stuff that gets hashed out in these. I mean, I feel like one thing that I would love is if in the club info you could actually set an, in an outfit that people could actually see and go, okay, that's the club outfit, rather than have to write it out. So kind of like what we get in the, um, the global store when you're looking at an outfit. If I could set an outfit that people could go, okay, that's the entire club outfit there and hover over, see where it's from, or just be able to buy the whole thing, that would be very, very useful. I just feel like that would be something I'd like. The club calendar, for example, is something that I always thought was cool, but the problem with it is if nobody checks it, nobody checks it. And most people don't check it. So I always kind of wanted this, that it would give notifications to the game. So if I like put something in the calendar, like we're going to have an event on this day at this time, that people would get notifications in game, kind of like you do for, you know, championships and stuff. That would have been something that I would like. No idea if that is, is something that would happen. The rules is pretty much, you know, the rules are the rules. You know, it's not really anything massive here. This is just stuff that people can read. I don't know whether they'd want to have a little check that people could go, okay, I've read these so you could see who's actually read the rules and agreed to them or whatever. Not a massive thing, but it's just an idea. But I would like to see things like that. And probably I would say also some new roles. Um, I feel like the roles are fair enough. There's, there's a, a range of them. I find that people often get quite hung up on them because I remember years ago, Whenever people joined, I would just they would be automatically on the starting role, which I think is like stable girl. Um, and I think a lot of people sometimes got hung up. They were like, "Oh, I'm gonna be a stable girl." And it's like to me, the roles didn't mean anything. It was just a way for me to go, "Okay, this person's new to the club. Um, here's somebody else that's been in the club for a while. Here's somebody who's been active enough and helpful enough that they can be a club leader." That was more the roles were to me. It wasn't a way to make anyone feel, you know, any less than anybody else. But some people do get quite hung up on club rules. Some clubs use club rules, you know, um, in a way that is more, you know, if let's say you're in a dressage club, you know, your rules are set. Maybe you're in the competitive team and maybe somebody else is just starting out and learning. Stuff like that. So I guess there's a lot of things here. And the other thing as well is I think one of the biggest things 
is um, being able to communicate effectively in game. That's one of the biggest things for me with clubs that has always been such an issue. So like years ago, um, people would ask to join, okay? And I remember one time I had a waiting list. I no longer have a waiting list and I'll tell you why. So like three, four years ago, I had a waiting list with over 50 people on it. And whenever I um, had spaces, I went and I emailed, or not emailed, what am I talking about? Um, I messaged every single one of them individually in game. And I had to send those messages one after the other. This is just a general mailing problem. This is not even just a club issue, but I'll get to why it's a club issue in a second. It was a case of, I had to sit there and write the same message 50 times and send it. And it was horrible. I sent this message and I think about three to four people on the waiting list actually responded. So I decided I was never doing that again and I just took the waiting list away and if there was a space, you could join and if there wasn't a space, it was kind of just tough luck, unfortunately. Um, because I wasn't going to go through the bother of writing 50 messages again. And the reason why that's a problem in clubs is if I have a club event or something to message every single one of my club, if their real box is full, they don't get it. Um, and it's the same kind of problem. Um, communication within game, I've always thought is a massive issue. And I think for safety reasons, it's better if club communication can be done within the game. And I've always thought that that's been an issue. So for me, I do kind of hope that whatever this is that's coming, that there's something in there that sort of brings that in. The communication is made easier or simpler or just easier to do mass messages to the club to say, right guys, um, anyone with maybe club leader role or club owner can message the entire club or you can set permissions as to exactly who can message the entire club. Let's say you have somebody who runs dressage lessons and somebody else that runs jumping lessons, that they can message everybody in the club and say, we're having this on this day and they can send it once and it'll go to all the people that they need it to go to. Stuff like that. I feel like specified messages. Kind of like, um, I guess, just having maybe if you had set people that were on the dressage team, you know, whoever's the leader of your dressage could just um, message all of those people in one go within the game. There's just a bunch of different things that I can see being really, really helpful and useful in that regard. So communication within the game being effective, I think, is a massive one. As I said, being able to set stuff in the calendar that would then give you little notifications like you get with championships. You know, being able to show the club uniform for people. Um, maybe even showing when the club was established, how long it's been going. I think that's useful too, just in general. I think it'd be nice. I know you can message and you can ask, but just stuff like that, I think, you know, would be cool. The other thing is advertising the club. People just usually go into global and they write it. And I feel like I would like somewhere more centralized where clubs, you know, if somebody's looking for a club, they could go, right, okay, I want a club that's like this and it does dressage and it's this kind of activity level or something like that, or it's this kind of size, um, that people could easily do that, you know, or somebody who wants to advertise their club can go and set those things, you know, in a manner that makes it easier for people to find you know, I just feel like stuff like that would be very, very useful. Like a centralized place, you know, where people can come and uh, look up clubs. But there's a lot and lots of things. Like, I can't even think of most of the things that I want when it comes to riding clubs in the game. But yeah, effective communication where people can run clubs from within Star Stable would be a big one to start with. You know, um, I think there are... So many like amazing creative things that people do with clubs in Star Stable, you know. People have got so creative with clubs over the years. Clubs have changed a lot. I remember when I first joined and most clubs were event clubs. And my club's always kind of been an event club. And there's, you know, so many other things that have cropped up over the years. You know, you've got the likes of dressage is like the the biggest thing, I think. Now you have so many dressage clubs. And I think the community is really, really creative with what it does with clubs. And I'd like to see sort of more tools there that will help clubs thrive. And, and that's for me what I want to say. And I'm excited at the prospect of what we're going to get next week. And if it's even just one of those things that I've kind of talked about, I will be quite happy. Um, I know it's something that can be built on. So, yeah, that, that's what I'm hoping for. Um, 
if it turns out to be an NPC new writing club, kind of like the Bobcats or the Bulldogs, I am going to be a little bit disappointed if it's not to do with our own clubs themselves. But at the minute, we don't know what it is. Um, so I'm just hypothesizing as to possibilities of things that I'd like to say or have, you know, because um, I feel like we need something new and, and interesting and fresh coming into clubs because clubs are really one of the big reasons why a lot of people stay. They're really a real strong backbone in the game. And I know some people go clubless um, and some people just prefer to be clubless. I mean, I only ever made my club originally because I just wanted to be kind of clubless in the sense that I didn't want to be invited to clubs and I just wanted to be on my own and stuff. And I do love my club to pieces, don't get me wrong. Um, but like the reasons that I made my club originally was to be antisocial. Yeah, I feel like there is so many things that could possibly be done to make it easier for people to run clubs, to easier to be in a club, to have better communication, you know, provide a better way to run a club in, a, in the game itself. And uh, I just hope that we can get like one of those things at least. You know, if we get more than one of those things, I'll be over the moon. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like there's so many things that, that could be done. And I know that whenever we were on the podcast a few years ago, we discussed different things we'd like to see within clubs on two different ones. We did one uh, with Jeremy Moonstone where we were discussing running riding clubs. And then another one we did with Quick um, where we were discussing basically riding club events and how you do you keep clubs interesting and things like that. So those, I remember we discussed a lot of possibilities of what we would like to see in riding clubs. Huge amount of possibilities. So um, I probably don't even remember most of the ones that we talked about there because it is quite a while ago. But yeah, some of the things that we discussed in that are, are also things I guess I would like to, to see as well. But we'll see. I'd really love to hear what your theories are about this riding club update. What do you think it's going to be? Do you think it's going to be an NPC quest storyline with maybe a new writing club? Or do you think it's going to be something for us and for our writing clubs? Let me know down in the comments below. But anyway, scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've had a lovely day and bye!